in a while my ride bag the ultimate wedding planner that I have been working on for what seems like forever I have taken my printable wedding planner that you all know and love and turned it into not just a wedding planner but an entire system that you guys have been asking me for for years so we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a full flip through of everything that's in here so what it is, is you get the bag, and let's take a look here. You get the wedding binder. Okay, so this is the old standby that you guys know and love, except instead of a printable, it is physical. Then we've got the maid of honor traveler's notebook, and we've got the bride's question book. And then we have the letter um, size envelope pocket here that has all of our day of booklets, our tip suggestions, tip envelopes, and our bridesmaid invites. So this is basically everything you need to plan your wedding, DIY style, be your own wedding planner. So we're gonna go through it all, starting with the most important piece, which is of course, the big, the bad, the wedding planner. So this is the old standby, the big important piece that you need it is, of course, still available in printable form. So if you just want to print this out yourself, you can. I'll leave a link down below. But if you want it ready to go and beautiful, I love all the rose gold, you can get it. I'm so excited. So let's get started. Let's see. I'm trying to see how it's in the shot here, which is a little hard because the camera's above me. So you have... The pretty binder here got my little business card there and cute little accessories all throughout like this little love paper clip I don't know if you guys can fully see that but it's so cute so then you've got all your dividers I believe there are 18 of them let's count I just counted like five minutes ago and of course I can't remember yes 18 so you've got 18 dividers wedding party timeline guest list budget beauty and attire we've got the registry we've got rental travel and transportation ceremony and reception menu music honeymoon we've got your vendors photos and then we've got notes to do and a full calendar so when you flip through the binder we've got four decorative vellums one at the top of each section this one might be my favorite because you can see it has that pretty cute little bride with her head on her new hubby's shoulder and the umbrella. I just, I think that turned out really cute. So we start off the wedding binder with your wedding party, which is just your contact list, all your girls, all your guys, all the people that you pick to stand up with you on your special day. And of course, notes then we've got the timeline so this is going to walk you through exactly what you need to do every single month all the way up to the big day day before one week to go we've got the day of right so we've got all the activities from start to finish and of course this here is your don't forget so this is your checklist of things to bring with you the day of Things like your wedding rings and your ring bearer pillow, your marriage license, your envelopes with your tips for your vendors. Then we've got your guest list. We've got the bride's list. We've got the groom's list. And if you're anything like me, that took a bit of work. <laughs> we had quite a few people at our wedding. And of course, um, my mama's maiden name is Smith and my new husband's name was Smith. So we had bridesmiths and groomsmiths and no one could keep them straight because typically at a wedding you go okay all the smiths with me all the Schaefers my maiden name is Schaefer 
And in this case, when they said all the Smiths, both sides of the party were just like, do you mean me? Do you mean me? No. Too many Smiths. Budget. So this is just my worst nightmare. I don't know about y'all, but I hate budget for anything. And wedding is no different. Beauty and attire. So we've got everything from your makeup appointment. And you can go through with all of your trials. And we've got places to put pictures. And then we have your hair appointment. We have all the important things from fitting to all of your accessories. You can write those details in. Bridesmaids. You've got all your measurements. Your actual dress. Your groom's attire, same diff, especially for your groom because he does rent his tux nine times out of ten. I know my guy did, and all his groomsmen rented their tuxes as opposed to I bought my dress. My girls bought their dresses. You've got all these measurements for all of the guys, and it is hell getting them all to go to their appointments. So we've got sheets where you can record each and every one of them and that they've gone and that they've got their measurements and whatever it is that you need to do. All right, here's another one of those vellums. Got the little bridal bouquet with the big bow. Love that bow. Registry, this part is so much fun. We've got the full checklist there so you can go through and decide what you need to register for. Of course, I already had a lot of things, but my hubby had nothing. So there you go rental. So we didn't rent that much, but a lot of people have to rent things like linens or tents or chairs. We rented chair covers actually. So here's all the ideas of all the things you may need to rent. And if you do, you know, your style, your pattern, your color, your price, you've got it all in there. Travel and transportation. So not only do you need to record where you're booking for your guests. And of course you may not be booking them, but you know, we blocked off a suite of rooms for all our guests. And that's in here. You've got ground transportation. If you are booking even buses or cars to take people from a ceremony to a reception, not necessary, but I know people who do that's all in here. And then of course you've got your transportation for the bridal party, for the bride and the father of the groom, to the honeymoon, to the airport. So that's all in here. And then we've got this ceremony, everything that you need from processionals to setting up your ceremony, notes, pages, your reception, where all the fun happens. Another one of those pretty vellums with that pretty dress. I love that dress. Music. That's a bit of fun. So everything you need to pick for your entrance, your garter toss, your bouquet, your cake cutting. It's all right there. Menu. This is a fun one. Courses, desserts, beverages. Desserts is the best. If you're having dessert, invite me. <laughs> Honeymoon. Okay, so we've got your accommodations, your reservations, your entertainment, all that good stuff. You just need a hotel room. You're good to go. Vendors, so here's your worksheets for all the people that you pick, where they are, what their names are, that kind of jazz if you need to contact them. Then we have individual worksheets for if you need space to, you know, write down who you pick in here. You've got them all organized. Photo worksheet. Now your photographer will have a lot of this but I recommend going through it with her because sometimes they have different priorities than you do. Another one of those pretty vellums of the flowers. And this is our last section. So we've got the to-do list and you've just got a bunch of sheets for that. Notes. So again, you've got a bunch of sheets for notes. And then last but not least, your calendar. And so you've got the full year, December through January, of all your months. They're undated because I don't know when you're going to use this. So you can date it yourself. And then you are set. And I just took this off, so I will go ahead and show it to you. You see how cute that is? 
I just, I don't know. I love all the details. I mean, I know I made it, so I'm biased, but I just love it. And then you've got the pretty rose gold pin and the pin loop. All right, that is just the one piece. We still have two more planners in here and the envelope. Now I know some of this may be overkill for y'all. That's okay. Let's go through the next one for the bride, which is your, let's tuck this under here. Questions notebook. All right, so this is for the bride to take on the go when you're going to meet all those vendors. So you're picking a cake decorator and you're gonna go meet five of them. You may not wanna bring your whole big binder every time, not to mention you only have one worksheet in here for a cake decorator. So that's where this comes in. It's a B6 size traveler's notebook. It has all the pretties. So you've got the pretty bow, you've got the pretty leather bookmark, you've got the pretty paper clips up top, you've got a floral and the matching bow clip. Then you open it up, maybe. You've got another little paper clip. The front pocket here is a large pocket, two card pockets, so you can put all of those cards as you meet with people. And then you've got all your dashboards. So these are laminated, so they are good to go. These are laminated as well with the little tabs up top. So you've got all your questions, what you ask the cake designers, when you're meeting with them, what are your specialties? Can you design a custom cake to match my theme? Yada, 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 all the questions. And you've got that for your cake designer, caterer, floral designer, invitation designer. You've got the photographer, the professional DJ, the wedding planner, the venue, and of course, a note section at the back, which has notes and to do's so you can write down if you have notes on the go. Each and every section has a really pretty vellum inside. Vellums are useless, but oh my God, they're just my favorite part because they're so pretty. They're so pretty. So they all are a little different. There's that bride and groom. And this is just your traveler's notebook to take with you. So this goes for the bride with her big planner, okay? So this, this is completely covered for the bride, 100% covered. So then our next section is for the maid of honor. So when I asked, was starting this wedding planner extravaganza and I asked all my girls, what do you need? What would be helpful for planning your wedding? And surprisingly, all the maid of honors, mine included, came back and said, I loved your wedding planner. It was great for the bride. But what the hell is the maid of honor supposed to do? Nine times out of 10, unless you're in 27 dresses, you've not been a maid of honor before. I haven't. So this will walk your maid of honor through it. It's got the pretty floral swag on the front. Okay, we've got two floral paper clips. Can you see those? Cause they are just gorgeous. Those are my favorite. This one's my favorite. We've got the cute little paper clips on the side. Now these are bookmarks. So you can flip right to a special page. So inside, not only do we still have that same pocket set up where we've got the big pocket and the two card pockets, but our maid of honor also has the big back pocket. Since she doesn't have a big binder like the bride does to put things in or the bag, the bags for the bride, of course, it says bride on it. The maid of honor has this nice big pocket so that she can put any papers that she may have right in here, which I just really like. All right, so most, the most important part of this little maid of honor booklet, my maid of honor, of course, helped me with, and I had two maid of honors. So you've got the vellum, and then you've got the book. Now this will walk you through everything from being called the maid of honor to what happens if you've got squabbles amongst the bridesmaids, all right, common challenges, how to plan a shower, checklists for, you know, gifts, what 
gifts you do want to buy, if you don't, tips and tricks for your hair, for your makeup. We've got checklists for the bridal shower, invites, just everything. It walks you through the entire wedding, the entire wedding and your role in it. Okay. So just depends on your bride, you know, how involved of a wedding planner the maid of honor will be, but this is going to be your accompaniment to her wedding planner. And chances are, if she's getting a wedding planner like this, you're going to be planning with her. So then we've got the timeline and this is the exact same timeline that the bride has. So a lot of these book honeymoon, start a fitness workout regime, contact lighting and tent. A lot of these aren't going to be things you're doing as a maid of honor, but you'll want to be working with her to get these things done and to help remind her because it gets very, very stressful to plan an entire wedding, especially on your own. So your maid of honor is your go-to gal. And so you've got all the pieces in here so that you can help her with them. Then we've got our contact list, another vellum. I love those vellums. So this is just all your lists, all your numbers from the other bridesmaids to the flower girl, to the groomsmen, to the um, vendors, wedding planner, reception, stationer, photographer, yada, yada, yada. And then of course you have your notes in the back. So I've given you the dot grid so you can sketch or write and a to-do list. That's the whole book. So I hope that makes sense. I think this is really going to help you, especially if you are the kind of bride who is a big planner, which let's face it, if you're buying this set, you're a bride who's a big planner. Your maid of honor is going to love this. My maid of honor went crazy when I showed her this after so many months of working on it. And she is not a planner girl at all. She is not a bling bling rose gold girl at all. She's not a floral swag girl at all. But the planning actual functionality of this, she was ecstatic. So that is the bulk of everything, but we've still got one more thing, which is the big envelope. I love the big envelope. I think I need like five of these big envelopes just because they're pretty. But inside, so we've got three things in here. We have, dun, 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 the tip envelopes. So we've got a whole little cheat sheet here, tip suggestions on if you're going to give your vendors tips, this is what people recommend. Now you can do whatever you like, but I've just done research for you on what people suggest. And then we've got the actual envelopes themselves. So I've set them all up for you with the names on them. And you can go ahead, put your tips right in here and then give these to one of your gals. This can be one of your, their special duties. Say what your maid of honor or your, one of your bridesmaids, one of your cleanup crew to hand these out. Of course, if it's something that you'd like to hand out yourself, you can, and you have them all set up for you. All right, so then the next piece is your bridesmaid cards. These are just little cards. They're nothing super fancy, but they're just really sweet. Will you be my bridesmaid? They're hand watercolored, and you can just write them a little note if you have little gifts for them. There are eight of those. I suppose if you're from the South and you have 15 bridesmaids, send me a note. I can always include more, but I figured for the average bride, eight is overkill. <laughs> I think I had eight. I might've had 10. I don't remember. And then the rest of what's in here are 10 wedding day booklets. So this is something that one of my brides asked me for specifically, and I had a blast putting these together. They're all exactly the same, and they have the little rose gold staples on the edges. Can you see those? It's just the little details that make me really happy. So inside here, these are what you'll hand to your, anyone helping you on the wedding day that needs information, okay? So your bridesmaids, any of your bridesmaids that have special duties, say to hand out the tip cards, you would give this to them, and they can just write down what they need to know. 
So um, if you have a setup crew, you can hand this to them. It gives them all the numbers that they need, okay? So you've got all the numbers for your vendors, all the numbers for your bridesmaids, your groomsmen, the people that they may need to get in touch with. And then they have areas to take notes on what they're supposed to be setting up, what they're supposed to be taking down, anything they might need. I had a couple sweet friends of mine who set up my centerpieces. They would have loved this because they just had no paper. I had a couple sweet friends who set up the oh, decorations at the church, things like that. Anyone who might need to get a hold of someone on the day of, and that's helping you. And that, my friends, is it. It's all the goodies that come in this little bag. So you've got the large envelope, you've got the big oh, got the big wedding planner. You have the maid of honor book and you have the bride's question book. Feels heavy with importance. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm sorry for the background noise. It seemed like a really good idea to film this out on my porch at the beginning. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I will, of course, leave the link so you can buy this down below. I do make each and every one custom with love. So if you have any requests, I know my mom said that she was thinking like if she were to buy one for someone, she'd want two wedding binders, one for the bride and one for the mother of the bride, because my mama is total helicopter mom and she would want one for herself. So if you have a special request, you want two of something, you need 15, will you be my bridesmaid cards? Feel free to send me an email and we can make you a custom quantity of anything. Other than that, thank you for hanging out with me. Bye y'all.